Welcome to a virtual walkthrough of my proposed Cesar Chavez monument. I'm Judy Baca, and I'm presenting a Maya fly-through as a three-dimensional maquette for your review. In my recent review of the site, I determined that the ideal space for the placement of the monument is in a site adjacent to the main paseo, which will accommodate a need for a contemplative site. In keeping with Chavez's own ideals, the most appropriate site is one not at the center of attention, but a site more meditative and introspective. This site also avoids the budgetary concerns and fire regulations concerning blockage of the central passage area. The concept of the monument is to commemorate Chavez through his ideals, rather than to create a traditional European approach to a fallen soldier or an important personage through a bust or bronze statue. It is not his personality that is to be remembered, but his ideals and beliefs carried out in his actions to improve the conditions of the campesino, which inspired so many to join his efforts to achieve social justice. A key element to the monument is to teach the next generation how to choose to live a life in the center of your values and beliefs, as Cesar Chavez did. I'm proposing an arch, which is not modeled simply on the triumphant arches of Europe, but instead on a Mayan corbelled arch with additional rounded mission arches as niches. This represents Chavez's Spanish and indigenous roots. This arch is placed at the opposite side of the small plaza to necessitate pedestrian passage through its opening, which will encompass the viewer with images of Chavez's life inside the arch. Inside are two murals, painted and printed digitally, or as a second option, painted and then produced in full Venetian tile. The images will depict two key strategies of Chavez's activism, which were, one, his use of the pilgrimage, and two, the fast as a cornerstone to his nonviolent philosophy. In the front of the arch are two murals of two campesinos who are at work in the fields of California with the dreaded short hoe. An important achievement of Chavez was the abolishment of the short hoe, which was responsible for so many injuries to workers. The hoe is featured in gold in the mural image to commemorate this fact. On the back of the arch is an image of Dolores Huerta, the vice president of the Farm Workers Union and his partner in these endeavors, along with Gandhi, who inspired Chavez with the concept of nonviolent action and helped instill in him through his example that social change is possible through non-aggressive action and spiritual practice. The construction of the arch is achieved through traditional construction with steel beams and hand trowel plaster. The finish is created to liken the historic pearlescent quality used in the missions of California through use of ground clamshells and whitewash over adobe. The farm worker's eagle will be made from a high density resin substance casted and translucent with commuted interior lights. This will create a glow to the translucent farm worker's eagle in the evening hours. On the plaza, I propose to replace the current benches and use a casted cement resin bench system. These benches will be constructed of resin and concrete to resemble metates. The benches are designed in the shape of the ancient grinding stone used for grinding corn and masa, depicting this belief through humble tools, such as metate, as a place to rest one's feet, is in keeping with the simplicity of Chavez's life, and literally provides grounding for the walk through the Cesar Chavez Monument Plaza. To lead people to the monument, a pathway is created through the use of hand-painted tile from the main paseo to the monument by use of ancient glyphs representing footpaths and grapevines, which represent the marches Chavez undertook during the Great Boycott. This path will surround the fountain to increase the scale of the fountain in the plaza and to mark the most important marches. Other single tiles will be placed throughout the plaza to signify other elements, such as an ancient glyph with a statement from Chavez at the end of the boycott, saying, soon the grapes will be sweet once again. A second tile, a contemporary codice, is drawn and placed in a tile of a famous image of the marchers on the horizon with picket signs around them. And Chavez's words saying, there is no such thing as defeat and nonviolence. A contemporary glyph is drawn in which workers are bent in the fields. One figure stands upright with his arms extended and the words from Cesar Chavez underneath say, the first principle of nonviolent action is that of non-cooperation with everything humiliating. An additional glyph is drawn, the center of which is a book surrounded by hands and hearts. 
Chavez's words read, the end of all education should surely be service to others. On the side of the monument itself, sandblasted, are the important words of Chavez, which read, a word as to the education of the heart. We don't believe that this can be imparted through books. It can only be imparted through the loving touch of the teacher. In conclusion, it is our hope here in the Cesar Chavez Digital Lab that we have provided a contemporary monument while referencing the ancient precedents and depicted values for all those who pass to strive for. Our research was extensive and inspiring. Many elements need to be further explored should we be fortunate enough to build this monument to a man who is important to remember, Cesar Chavez.